High School, bringing you for a softball between the Bridgeline Lady River Hawks and the Bear River Lady Bears. Region 11 battle for first place. Or to at least take the lead is what ups for grabs this afternoon. Ridgeline coming into this one with an overall record of 11 and 2. And the Bear River Bears, 12 and 2 overall record. Both teams coming off from wins. Bear River beating to Willie yesterday by a score of 13 to 3. The River Hawks, a 15 run shutout against Box Elder. That game took place on Saturday. Joining on the call. This afternoon for us this afternoon is Bear River alumnus, Amy Gibbs. Maybe? Um, these are usually the top two in our region over here, so it's always a fun game to watch. Yeah, so we can take a look at the RPI standings as we're waiting for them to finish a little bit of paperwork. Kind of looks like this. Lady Bears sitting in second above Ridge Line, but Crimson Cliffs leading the way. Yeah, that's a little bit of a surprise. Um, just because the last couple of years they haven't been that strong, so it's good to see them doing so well this year. Yeah, I think they turned a couple of heads last year. They beat out Snow Canyon the first time down, and when we got to the, the mm -hmm. tournament play in Spanish Fork, they put the Took Warriors. Took it to them, yeah, huh? Put the Warriors in the first loss bracket. Yes, how exciting. Well, when we played them last time, it wasn't, not this year, but last year when we had played them, it wasn't that tight of a game. Yeah. So, yeah, it, you know, it's funny how it only takes a minute and everything kind of falls into place. And anyway, they're on top right now, so looking good. Yeah, it's, especially with this RPI, once you get hot at the right time, you know, Sky's the limit. I mean, look at Skyview seven and eight. They're sitting in eighth place. You know, they they have improved. They have. Immensely. They have. I was really impressed with them last year. That was probably the best squad I'd seen. I didn't watch the game the other day, but no. Like you said, they have. Everybody has their moments. Kind of goes up and down. So Skyview's on their way up. Obviously, Crimson Cliffs doing well this year. So should be a fun, a fun season. Yeah. So we'll take a peek at the region how everybody's sitting forever on top they played a little bit played a little more game than Ridge line has but 4-0 3-0 mustangs in the middle 2-1 and one, and then the rest to follow down this is this game will mark halfway through the region for us for Ridge, or, yeah Ridge line still has to play I believe Mountain Crest mm -hmm. on a makeup game I remember one year when we rained out <laughs> game after game after game, and not the case this year. It's cold, sometimes snowy on days, but so far we've been able to stay pretty good on track. Well, I believe they're going to do the national anthem. We won't be able to pick that sound up. Now we've got things set up here this afternoon, but we'll pause for that and then we'll show you the batting lineups go around the field tell you who's where on ridge lines part of the field and we'll step aside for the national anthem now
starting lineups. This is what your batting lineup will look at, look like here for the Lady Bears. Back to the same old, same old. We'll lead off with Nelson and Zoe Swanson, and then cleanup will be Kate Daly. the Green Canyon Wolves, and then the Lady Bears lacrosse will also be hosting the Wolves. Starting out in the left field will be Ava Howell. She's a sophomore here for the River Hawks. Again, that pitcher is Marquesa Jensen. Ella Pond is a shortstop. Kenzie Hale on third. Abby Batting on first base. Brittany Anderson, center field. Hattie Hansen in second. Kenzie and Jorgensen in right field, and Annie Wallace back behind the plate in the catcher position. Again, the Lady Bears are batting somewhere around 350 at the plate. Carly Miller will lead the Lady Bears in RBIs with seven off of nine hits. And Tuna Farnsworth with six RBIs, both batting in the 400s. Those are some great numbers. Great numbers, especially with the competition that they've seen. They've had some pretty tough teams, so that says a lot. And again in the circle is senior Marquesa Jensen. She has an ERA at 2.87, 49 strikeouts on the year. She's allowed 39 hits and 22 runs. And we'll start off with Kenzie Nelson. to thank our sponsors for making this possible and you for hopping on and supporting us by watching Jens won the first pitch in their first strike Kenny's a senior center fielder for the Bears second year varsity take another strike Jensen ahead in the count 0-2 Swing and a miss at the first strikeout. Ever Jensen is the first batter she sees. She'll be followed by lefty, right fielder, or actually left fielder, <laughs> um, Zoe Sorensen, also a senior for Bear River. Finish up this replay on the strikeout. Back to the plate. First one will miss for a ball. First ball here from Jensen. Steps back into the box here for the Lady Bears. Low and away, ball two. Now Swanson up at, at the count, 2 0. Gets with another one, finds his own on that one. For strike here against Swanson. Strike here from Marquesa. Right, that was a nice little off speed pitch, little change up. So the 2 2 is swung on and hit out to center field. And out number 
number two comes out easy here for the River Hawks again. That's number 24, Brindley Anderson, sophomore. Another CNR replay. We'd like to thank them for being your replay sponsor all season long. Here for a fair of a live. This event's broadcast is brought to you by Integrated Systems as well, making your home smarter. Daly steps in, fouls this one back as a backstop. She's looking at two outs, nobody on. A very windy afternoon. <laughs> Weird. This one inside, driven jets. Ties a count of the one. I'd like to thank the Valley Headliner, BRBNews.com, your true local source for local news. Swing and a miss from Dally. Jensen jumps up ahead. One ball, two strikes. Kessler just going to miss inside. Kate's just a junior, but it will be our starting pitcher. Is this Great one shot. Out? And again, Anderson with the grab out in center field. They go down in order. One, two, three. One more look at it here on the CNR replay. Yeah, Kate does a great job. Tries to hit that gap right there. Um, again, she just gets good read on it, gets over there, makes the catch. All right, we're going to take some of our sponsors to be right back as the Riverhawks will be up to bat here in the bottom half of inning number one. <laughs> Mason Industrial has been building America with epic safety and quality since 2007, specializing in steel fabrication, machining, and paint. GBI engineers, ships, installs, and repairs a wide range of products. They design and build all steel and alloy work according to the highest industry standards. Let GBI help you get your project completed on time and on budget. If you're looking for work, join GBI's team for a great work environment, competitive pay, and benefits. Just the junior. Her ERA is 2.08 with a 42 strikeout count on the year and allowing only 18 hits and 15 runs. And we'll start off with a hit by pitch. So one up, one on. Yeah, so I was going to say one pitch and originally already has a base runner. Center fielder, Brindley Anderson now steps into the box. She bunts this one. Scooped up by Warren. Gets the out in first, but moves Hanson over to second. And that's usually what her job is. So well done, Anderson. Stop. So you're gonna miss. Pot hitting about four or fifty-five. She's got one out. And Hanson still on second. Going in there from Dally has a strike and Hanson will get down and be safe at third.
replay look at the steal. It shows Vaughn pulls back, there's a strike. She gets a good jump on it, just a straight steal. Kate does get the strike on that pitch. It's a foul away, out of play. Surprised me it stays foul with that first go in. It's blowing right out to left field. So no outs, a deep hit would score Addy. Jessica doing a great job staying on top of things. Well, like I think Greer's doing best hard work. They've been serving the community since 1976, getting your honeydew list checked off. Yes, Mother's Day's coming up. If you want to make her happy, get a couple things done on her list. <laughs> that is for sure. So we're back up at the plate. You with Pond. Down the end of the circle. Manson on his third. This one rises high for ball. So one on, one out. Just gonna miss. Pond staying in there, gets the count. Tied back up a two after that ball. Eddie Hansen still standing on third. There's the two-two. Swung on any first. Frank Bay's going to strike out here for Kate Daly. Gets out number two of the play. Right, that was a big out. Because um, now even a deep hit, a deep fly ball, that will that will keep Addy on third. She won't be able to score. Another CNR replay look as that ball just moves right up. Marquesa for the cut. Marquesa Sr. She also has plans going to Idaho Falls, or excuse me, Twin Falls, to be a Golden Eagle. Gets a hold of this one, but it is out of play. Heading over to the baseball field. I'd like to thank Kent's Market for being your one-stop shop here in the Valley, and attention seniors if you're looking for a job. Between going to school, they're hiring. Off speed, Marquesa tries to chase that one. That was a great pitch by Dally. It's coming in fast, so if you if you've ever batted, you know you're swinging early, and so she wants to get her good timing on that. Great off speed pitch, and she has to connect with that <laughs> to stay at the plate, and she does. Dally well ahead with the 0-2 count. She winds up, sends another one in there for Jensen. Jensen straightens this one out, and it hits the fence. That'll bring a run in here for the Riverhawks. Nelson goes out there and slings that one back in to keep Marquesa at first, but the Riverhawks strike first. That's a great shot. Great hustle by the Bear River Fielders keeper at one. So she doesn't even get to second base. But as you said, Addie Hansen easily scores. So next up for the Riverhawks will be number 21, third baseman. Kinsey Hale, she's a senior, bat 310. She too is headed to Twin Falls. Bridge line with the 1 0 lead now. This ball rises high. So two outs, one runner.
strike. Counts out at one. Ridge line, one zero here in the bottom of the first. Dally doing a great job with ball movement. Check swing. That's a strike. Yes, the umpire said yes. She did go. Basically, do strikeout to Strand. Knowledge. Or our, our ledge, excuse me. On second, as we'll take a scene on our replay look. But Ridgeline scores first. They get the 1 0 lead. Here, as we go to the top of the second, see if the Lady Bears can get that one back when we come back. Let Academy Mortgage help you get into the home of your dreams. Give them a call today. In the mood for a burger and fries? Look no further than the grill. They have plenty of mouth-watering options for everyone. Stop by for lunch or dinner and complete the meal with a tasty dessert. Kent's is your one-stop shop for fresh produce, bakery items, deli, and meat. Stop by today for fast, friendly service. Think of Greer's Hardware for all your spring cleaning needs. Whether your project is inside or outside, they have you covered. Welcome back here to Ridgeline High School. Again, the Riverhawks with the lead 1-0 as we go to the top of the second. So we knew from the beginning it's going to be a tight game, and so far that's the case. Carly Miller will step in to start us off. Senior right fielder for the Bears. Going inside from Jensen, ball one. As you mentioned earlier, she's had a great hitting year so far. Puts her in the four hole. Pops this one up high though. That'll play. The drops behind the dugout. Teddy Bear's trying to get that run, one run back. There's a 1 1 pitch, rises high, back behind the catcher, but no, no harm. Nobody on, still the first batter here in the top of the second. Yep, now's a good time to have that pitch. Get that out of your system. Another one drops out of the zone. Had to pull the chain on that one, maybe a little bit too hard. Check the count again as it says full count here on the scoreboard. I have three and one. And they moved the scoreboard back to a two and two count. Hmm. <laughs> well, everybody's different. I think it's still not right. I think she just had that one foul ball. Oh, there we go. Now they change it three and one. There's a pitch in there for a strike. Now a full count. <laughs> no outs, nobody on. Jansen with the pitch. This one foul away down the third baseline. Just goes out of bounds. Carly has another chance. Full count. No outs, no on. Jensen steps back in again. And alone inside. First 
block here for Jensen. And Miller will be on here for the Lady Bears. She'll be followed by senior catcher Haley Farnsworth. Also known as Bob. <laughs> Going inside, Miller gets back. She got the nickname from Comp Ball. She was on a team that had a bunch of other Haley's. Sometimes it's hard to keep track. So she just said, just call me Bob, and it's just kind of stuck with her. <laughs> nice. Another miss here from Jensen. She's behind on the count, 2-0. Okay. Carly Miller standing on first here for the Lady Bears, no outs. And we'd like to thank Jan Sherrison for being a great sponsor. strike, Miller gets back. around third. Still trying to dig it out. Calvin's waving her on. It's going to be close. And, and another error through. home plate. And the Lady Bears take the lead 2-1. That is one thing the Lady Bears do very well. If you make a mistake, they make you pay. Yes, they've always been such good base runners. Um, and this was just your average play. You have a runner on first. It's not unusual to bunt and move her over to second. Ridgeline did it just the last inning. But uh, had a little bobble there, made a quick throw to first, and it just got past two of the fielders, went all the way to the fence. This is, yeah, because your right fielder's coming up to cover first. So right. if it gets past her, there's nobody. <laughs> right, and it just rolled. It was a hard throw. Like I said, she kind of bobbled when she went to pick it up, so she was trying to make a quick throw, and it just just got away from him. Gets and misses on the first pitch. Here to McCall. Maxfield will foul that one away. Ties the count up at one. Nobody on, no outs. McCall, senior second baseman. Yeah. Also headed to Snow, going to be a Badger. Speed, pretty pitch, but it misses it. He's on for a ball. Seeing our trailer sales, getting your trailer ready for camping season. Just seems like forever away with the storms that keep on coming. But it's going to turn hot one day. We're going to go from I'm so cold, I'm so cold to could it be hotter? <laughs> <laughs> You'll never hear me say, man, I wish the wind would pick up, though. <laughs> That's true. I don't think I've, well, I take that back. I've, si I've sat at a ball game before where it's just been blistering hot, and a nice breeze would have helped, but. 3-1, shot over to the third baseman, scooped up, sent over to first for out number one here for the Riverhawks. Kenzie Hill makes that play. Yeah, sends it over to Banny, who's sent on first. So one gone now. It's a foul away. <laughs> Bella Douglas in the box here for the Lady Bears. Just a freshman, had a couple uh, a couple of varsity appearances this year. I can think of Royal Funeral Homes. Thank for being a sponsor of Rivera for Athletics. This one popped up. The wind doesn't carry that one to the fence. It's going to be a fly out down here in the left 
bill caught by Ava Howe. Another CNR replay look. Yeah, it was a great swing, just missed it. Now we'll go to number 15, Kinley 2, the senior, batting 421. Takes the first pitch here from Jensen. That is a strike. KJ and Marquez have played lots of ball together over the years. Now speed. Calls that one fair. Back over to Hale and over to Banning for out number three. But Lady Bears pull back on top with the lead off an air. Yeah, if they can have some tough defense on this one, win this inning, that'll be, that'll be a great start. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two and we come back. Rudd Funeral Home is there to serve your family in your time of need. Lincoln Financial specializes in estate, investment, and retirement planning, as well as business benefits. At Lincoln, they are totally impartial, comb through different options to create financial products a person needs. Lincoln Financial, big city service, small town care. The Pine Hut sells more than just hot rolls and donuts. They offer a full breakfast and lunch menu Monday through Friday from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. Breakfast is also served on Saturdays from 7 until noon. Try some deliciousness today. Back here to Ridgeline High School. Thank you. Lady Bears in the lead 2-1. Still a lot of ball. Right, we're only in the bottom of the second. So I expect a lot. I expect a lot more to be happening in the next little while. Junior first baseman, Abby Banning stepping up. Got in a 474. And still in the circle up to them. Having the first pitch strike is Kate Daly. Good cut, what a miss. Strike two. I'd like to remind you, you can always go get your fix at Soda Fix. More than once a day is totally acceptable. No one judges that. Nobody judges that. And this one just gonna miss. Wow, nice looking pitch. Banning staying in there with a 1-2 count. Now he resets, sends in another one, and this one misses high. Back at the chain link. Now again, winds this one up, sends it in 
there. This one gonna miss. Does it count on foul one? Hey, American Secure title is now U.S. title. Same people, same place. Swings and the rise above the bat for a Frank Mason can do strike out here by Kate Daly. Yeah, great job by Kate again. Her movement that she has on the ball is, has been pretty great this year. I know she's done a lot of practicing, as most of these girls practice hard all summer, and, and you can really see it here. Caitlin Leishman now up. Senior takes the first strike here from Daly. I think there's a Leishman on this team, at least one of them, every year. Yeah, he follows that one over the ball that just misses. One's all across the board, nobody on. Nobody on, one out. Kate with two strikeouts on the day so far. So we're gonna miss. Strike two. Ridgeline's really aggressive at the plate. Was in there for a Frank Mason Cruz strike out here from Dally. Yeah, that was a great punch out. I think she knew as soon as she didn't swing that that was in there. <laughs> she had to run out of the box as fast as she could so the <laughs> um couldn't remember where her knees are. Yeah. We'll take a scene on replay look as that was right there. You know, Kate is really focused. And this is a big game. We love Bear Rivers always love to play tough teams. So Ava Howe, the little left fielder, sophomore. Here for Ridgeline, takes a swing and it misses. So Ridgeline has a couple of young, young kids on their varsity squad. Yeah, they're kind of like us, they just keep filtering them in. <laughs> I heard someone say that the other day. You guys are a machine, you just keep pumping them out. How do you <laughs> But you have to attribute, you know, we do have great coaching at Bay River, but you also have to attribute to the parents and the coaches that take the time to play the comp ball during summer. Oh, yeah. So, it's this not is just It's not just a spring sport. as another Frank Mace could do strike out here from Kate Daly. And she has all three Ks to take out this inning. They get one more CNR replay look. Here at this strike out. So she got all three outs, but Abby Banning hit one out before that. So and that's where our 2 2 score comes from. Lady Bears again. Let's see if they can get that one back here as we go to the top of the third. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.
Whether it's drinks or treats, get your fix at Soda Fix. Ridgeline High School, top of the third. We're all tied in two. We'll start off with Jordan Warren here for the Lady Bears. Start off with a swing, and this one's going to hit with a miss. That's a great shot. Center right gap. You know, a lot can be said for coming out and taking that first pitch. You know your pitcher's trying to get, you know, a lot of people watch that first one, so I know the pitcher's trying to make that be in the strike zone. So, good job by Jordan. We'll go back at the top of the order here for the Lady Bears. With number seven, Kinley and Nelson. She bats a 407 coming into this one. Paperwork as a speed up runner comes in for Warren. Again, I love that in high school and especially Calvin use lots of speed up runners, give them some varsity experience. We're going to say that's Aubrey Fry on first. Freshman. She also got some varsity basketball time. Yeah. I think that's that's where I first saw her. Hey, the new basketball coach for Lady Bears basketball. Yes, Coach Pugley's, Pugsley is back. She was an assistant coach a couple years ago, so I know the girls are pretty thrilled to have her back. I know we enjoyed her. Kinley in the box now. All the T's across, eyes are dotted. That's one's in there for a strike. They try to get her, and they said they got her. Mm. Troy's going to contest that he's not in the right spot to make that call. Yeah, he told her to stay right there. Take a seat on our replay look, see what we can see. The first the pitch was a strike here to Nelson. Right, this Jensen. is a, probably the best angle. No, they try to cut it back over there. Yeah. It's hard to tell. Yeah, Pond's kinda in the shot. But where she should be. <laughs> so now nobody on. And one strike on Nelson. And an 0 1 count. This one fell back to the chain link. So now an 0 2 count. I do think Tanglewood Studios. A lot going out there in Bothwell. Jensen changes the speed on this one. Fell back out in the left field. And she did a great job just pulling that. Again, you've already started your wind-up, so when you see that off speed, and she knew it was in there, so she did a great job hitting that out of bounds. Still an 0-2 count. Jensen again winds this one up. No, and foul. Back into the dugout. I'd love to hear the Bears doing a great job cheering on their own team. Straightens this one out, but only two second baseman and Maddie will get the out of the first. Out number two. Zoe Swanson, senior. Yep, senior left fielder. About 500. We're going to have nobody on, two outs. Jensen with the pitch and a foul. She had a pretty good hit her first time at bat. Unfortunately, it was in the air and was caught, but not a bad spot. Looking to buy or sell there in the valley. Coldwell Banker, two got realtors. So, there to help you, they've got a team of dedicated professionals. 
Off speed, sent back in, gets it into the gap. Yeah, great shot right up the middle. And so far today, batting 500. Seeing our replay look, and it shot up just out of reach from Jensen's glove. Yep, no, that's a great spot. That'll get you on every time. Okay, Dally, check swing. They try to go pick Swanson off if she gets back. All right, your poor catcher, her arm's going to be <laughs> sore after this game. <laughs> At IPG, we take pride in being a global leader in protective packaging. In Tremont, we manufacture shrink film, stretch film, and air pillows. We strive to be the best at what we do in all aspects of the job. Look us up on the web at itape.com. That's the letter I, tape.com.
first drive here for Kate Daly. Still in the circle here for the Lady Bears. And Addie only got one pitch her last at bat. Yeah. So she's happy to see a little more action this time. Yeah, we started it off with a hit by pitch. Right, and she ended up scoring. So that hurt Bear of her. There's a 1-1 one, one count now. Jordan. So a good play by the Bears right there. One up, one out. She'll be followed by number 24, Brinley Anderson. She had the sacrifice bunt, her first plate appearance. Dally throws that one in there for a strike. Another first pitch strike for Kate Dally. Look at the twisted sugar. 18 flavors of gourmet cookies. Anytime you want them. Another swing on this. Strike two. Flavors of the month, though. This month is carrot cake and raspberry pretzel. Dally will just miss that one. So I haven't had time to go try the carrot cake, but I did try the pretzel one. Delicious. Is it the carrot cake one's delicious? No, the pretzel. The pretzel one. It's one that you kind of like, well, I don't know, I'm not really sure, and then you taste it. And then you have to have another one. <laughs> so we're gonna miss on a Frank Mason new strike out here for out number two by Kate Daly. That's number six for her. Next up for the Rib Rock, shortstop, sophomore Ellie Pond. Will be stepping in. Nobody on two outs. Try 
Tries another one. This one gonna miss. Give me a clean cover up. If you are in need of any screen printing or custom embroidery, go ahead and up there and cover up on Main Street in Tremont and Main Street in Brigham City. Yeah, they can do that. That they can. Down with another one. This one popped up high into the wind. If it stays fair, it, it does. And a home run here for Ella Pond. Well, she was swinging by for the fence at every strike. And this one was pretty high. I'm going to give a little credit to the wind to get that over. Still a good hit. Luckily for the Bears, no one was on, so that's just one point. Another solo shot here for the River Hawks. Pond gives Ridgeline the lead, three to two. So two outs, nobody on. In the four hole comes up number eight, Marquesa Jensen, senior pitcher. She got the RBI last time. She did. So this is for a ball. Yeah, she had a great shot to hit in Abby Hansen, and Bears got in quickly to keep her at a single. Another high one here from Dally. She hits it, but we're talking about a solid hit here, so sends it up 10 miles. If she'd have really got a hold of that, that easily could have been out too. You would have had to catch that one. <laughs> yeah, I'd be dodging that one. Riverhawks in the lead, three to two. We go to the top of the fourth. Lady Bears trying to get back. The KSL Sports app, powered by kslsports.com. Connecting you with all the jazz action, the dunks, buzzer beaters, and ankle breakers. Podcasts from the pros and in-depth analysis. Download the free KSL Sports app today. We are farmers. Whether you're buying or selling, let the dedicated professionals at Caldwell Banker help you save time and money. Welcome back here to Ridgeline High School. In a 3-2 ball game, top of the fourth. Lady Bears will start with number 30, McCall Maxfield. Senior second baseman. Man. Drive out to third base, Kenzie Hill. McCall hit to the left side last time, so consistent. She'll be followed by number 23, Bella Douglas. Already with one gone, Douglas fouls this one away. Douglas flew out her last at bat. Not a bad shot, pretty decent hit. strikeout for Marquesa, but the second out of the inning. Two up, two down here for the Bears. 
Next comes Senior KJ Toon. She have a good eye for pitch from Jensen O'Ball. KJ's 0 for 1 at the plate. Kessa hits the line with that one. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was motioning inside, but he was not. So one one. I guess we'll pull the chain on that one. Goes for a ball, two one count. Nobody on, two outs. Regina in the lead, or three to two. This one rises high. Turns that into a 3-1. Jensen. Fights back to a full count. Two outs, nobody on. I can thank KSLSports.com for being a race sponsor. Here up north, this one popped. Foul. be watching this game on the KSL Sports app. It's free to download. Keep up to date on what's going on in the sports world here in the state of Utah. Yeah, that's probably one of the easiest ways to keep up with things. Still a full count, Jensen, with another pitch. Another soft one. Hale scooped up. Sent over to Banning for out number three. The Riverhawks won that inning. Keeping theirs at, or excuse me, I guess it's the top of the inning. But holding the Bears 2 0. Let's see if the Lady Bears can match that in the bottom half when we come back. The grill has a wide variety of homemade appetizers. Can't decide what to get? Then build an appetizer combo. No matter what you're craving, the grill has you covered. Let Academy Mortgage help you get into the home of your dreams. Give them a call today. here at the bottom of the fourth. Looks to be number 21, third baseman Kenzie Hale, senior. She's showing bunt. Pulls it back. And this one misses low for a ball. He broke Kate Daly still in the circle here for the Lady Bears. base for a ridge line. She'll be followed by number 22, Abby Banning, who was the home run hitter. Yeah, sent one for a ride. Now with one on, no outs. Repairs fan don't want that to happen. Big cut. Oh, great snag by Ooh. town. <laughs> Over to second. 
So I'm sure Abby was, I'm sure that was the call. You swing, she's gonna steal. Anyway, Talon hustles over there, grabs that, saves another base. There's a pot up high, nobody can get a play on it. So foul ball pushes the count to an 0-2 with nobody out. And again, Kinsey Hale standing on second. Again with another one. This one's just gonna miss. Hmm. First ball here too. Nally in this affair. Or to Banning, I guess. Banning takes that strike. And he'll punch her out. Yeah, I don't think she <laughs> she didn't realize she had two on her. That's a Frank Mays could do strike out here by King Dally. Yes, that's number seven. Or I thought she was trying to play it cool. Like he, he'll, <laughs> he'll go Yeah, they've been, they've been questioning the <laughs> count <laughs> for the first two innings. Now to Wallace. She'll take the first pitch ball from Dally. With a good eye, we like to thank Todd Miller. He'll be in a new location here soon. Seeing new and old patients. Another one missing here from Dally. Ian Wallace, just a freshman playing catcher this afternoon. Yeah, she's a great addition to the Ridge Lane team. Swing and a miss. And another Frank Mays could do strike out. Nope, excuse me, only strike two. Yes, that's a full count. That's what you meant to say. Full count. Wallace still sits in there. There's another pitcher from Dally. There's your and Frank And another punch out. Woo! This one counts. Two outs here for the Lady Bears. We'll take a city in our replay. Look at that, catching Wallace looking. Right, I think they're hoping. I think they're wishing that's missing, but that she's found the zone. And she's moving top, bottom, right, and left. She's she's using it all. Looks like we'll have a change up in the batting order, so we'll see who comes in now. Still sitting on second, number 21, third baseman, Mackenzie Hale. So this is number double zero, Shelby Blankenship. Just a junior here for Ridgeline. I say just a junior, but that's one year away from being out of here. Right. That means they're coming back. So just to anything means they'll be back next year. For a tournament going to be down in St. George this year. Championship game will be played at Dixie State. Is it oh. still Dixie State or they end up changing the name? They've changed things like 10 times, so I don't really know. Everybody knows it by Dixie, right? Right. I was a rebel oh, back in right. the day. So they're rebels, trailblazers, and we're not sure what it is now. <laughs> Shelby, two outs. Runner on. Runner goes third and gets down in an air. And and a great a throw home. And Bob gets it off the bounce and runner scores here for Ridgeline. They see in our replay look. It's trying to get, trying to get Hal. They're in third. The throw misses. Good cover by Zoe. Sent back in there. Yeah, uh, Zoe did great backup spot on throw, just not in time. 
So this one will be a foul away still at the plate here with Shelby Blankenship. No one on two count. Nobody on. And two outs. And the Red Rocks with the lead four to two now. This one sent over to McCall. Over to two. And almost got out of here without a run. One pitch too late, yep. So they're keeping average is one. <laughs> One per inning for Ridgeline, and they're keeping up with that. So now Bears need to catch up to that. The okay, game will update our scoreboard four to two. We go to the top of the fifth when we come back. Think of Greer's Hardware for all your spring cleaning needs. Whether your project is inside or outside, they have you covered. Tanglewood Studios has something for everyone, whether it's dance, cheer, color guard, or gymnastics. There's even recreational all-boys gymnastics along with Mama Me classes. Enjoy co-ed hip-hop, classical ballet, point, contemporary, jazz, along with karate and parkour. Tanglewood is a USAG licensed gym offering bars, beam, vault, and a spring floor. Mom and Me and toddler classes are offered in music, dance, and gymnastics. Tanglewood Tots Preschool includes dance, gymnastics, music, and live sports. Singing classes, guitar, and musical theater are also offered. Family rates are available, so come join the fun. Whether it's drinks or treats, get your fix at Soda Fix. Number six, seven. Why would you do that? I want to Welcome back here to Ridgeline High School. Red Rocks with the lead, four to two. We'll start with third baseman Jordan Warren. This one misses. Still in the circle here for the Ridgeline River Hawks. Senior number eight, Marquesa Jensen. Fouls this one away. So one ball, one strike count. Popped out of play. On top of the press box. Jordan had a great hit her first time at bat. Sure, she's trying to match that. Once that one back, try to do an off speed, it goes way outside, ties the count up at two. Nice rip. Lands in foul territory, though. Yep, she could get that into fair territory. That would be great. has died down here. Yeah, not too bad now. Another 2-2 two -two pitcher from Jensen rises high for a ball. Full count coming. Wind dies down, but if you look over in the mountains, I don't like what it's doing up there. Well, I think it's great up there. You <laughs> just <laughs> as long as it stays up there? Uh, yeah. Another foul one away. Still full count here at the plate. Yo, I'm very much a, I want the rain in the valley too, while I'm sleeping. <laughs> then when I wake up, it will all be refreshed and we'll go on. <laughs> this one will miss and there's a walk here from Jensen. That might be the first one from Marquesa this afternoon. Or uh, second. Yep, Carly had the walk and now Jordan. Jordan will have a speed up runner coming for her. And it is Fry again, it looks like. Yeah. So Aubrey on first, no outs. That brings us back to the top of the lineup. Kinley Nelson, a senior. 
Oops. Last year played left field, moved to the center field position. She is 0 for 2, looking to change that right now. Director Coach Park set to retire. Today marks the 34 more days until he retires, and he's been here for 34 years. 34 years. Oh, my goodness. That's a long career. I'm sure most people are counting down to the end of school as well. Probably not in the same way, but... <laughs> <laughs> But yes, I think there's an open house in the commons of the high school. Yeah, I think uh, May 2nd. Yeah, so he'll drop in, say hi. I'm sure he'd appreciate that. And Nelson fouls the first pitch away here from Jensen. We get back to action. Good as we reset, no outs. Aubrey Fry standing on first. And at the plate, Miss Nelson. Sends this one back over to Calvin. He's got to duck out of it. And it'll roll foul. So Nelson behind. 0-2. First ball, Kinley's taken all game. Good poke. Is it out here to left field? Right, a nice solid hit in that 5 6 gap. Moves the runner and gets her on. Two on, nobody out. We'll take a scene on a replay. Let's get Fry now on second and Nelson on first. Little poke between short and third. Two on, no outs. Zoe batting 500. Pulls back the bun. This is for a ball. She had a nice hit, but flew out her first time at bat, and then that shot up the middle. This one will miss again here from Jensen. Zoe ahead. Two balls, no strikes. Jensen with another one. This one smacked back over to Jensen and not quick on the trigger. They're all loaded now. So Marquesa knew exactly what the play was. If it comes back to her to get the lead runner. So she had it. She turns to three. Nobody's covering the bag. Um, and everybody else has moved enough. Again, Marquesa's heads up on it. She's got nobody to go to. So with no outs, space is loaded. Kate Daly up now. Good opportunity here for the Lady Bears to get back into this one. Down four to two. This one low for a ball from Jensen. Right, this is a great spot to be in for the Bears. As you said, bases loaded, no outs. Um, Kate's our three hitter. She had a great hard hit to the shortstop her last time at bat. Also hit her first time at bat as she did fly out. So even a deep hit will score a run. Jensen's last pitch misses high for a ball, so a 2 0 count here to Dally. Another pitch here from Jensen, and this one gets past the catcher. Runner goes, slides in, runners that will advance around, and the Lady Bears get another run on the board, cuts into the lead. Now four to three, as Nelson now will be on third. Fry's the one that runs in. Gets down right there. Right, a pass ball. 
as you can see, also can give up a point. So the only force on the field is to go one. And still, no outs. Bear's in good shape right here. Zoe Swanson on second. As we reset. Neil ties his shoe. And Dally still in the box. It's a 3-0 count. At the plate. Starts to fall. Don't say those words. Hopefully it's just gonna clip clip us, not be like what Mount Chris was. Jensen here with the pitch, pulls back on the bunt, that one misses and another walk. Here for Jensen and that loads him up again. Dally now on first. Who will be the speed up runner coming for her will be number two. Kenley Archibald, a freshman. Swanson on second, Nelson on third, and up the bat, Carly Miller. Right so that does put the force back on. Again, another deep fly can score a run or a pass ball. Kinley's also really fast. She counts the first one away. Miller back in. Here's Jensen with the pitch. Another one fouled up. And with the backstop. So Carly with a walk and then had a great single out here to left field. Up and over the infield. I think she had a bunch on base then too, so clutch player, senior. with another pitch. This one popped up and another one fouled away here for our Miller. Still an 0-2 count. Yeah, only three seniors here on this Ridgeline team. Jensen with another pitch. This one fouled away again by Miller. Long at bat with bases loaded, no outs. Wallace flipping around, must have got her on the ankle. We'll check her out and we'll have our Miller medical moment. Right, I thought it came off Carly's leg, but it, it might have hit her too. Again, Dr. Todd Miller will be at a new spot. Going to be located at 57 North, 775 East, Tremont. Walk it off. Softball, softball girls are tough. Pretty much the toughest. Well, we'll reset. 0 2 count. Bases loaded, no outs. Carly Miller still swinging at anything that's close. Kessa slings one in there. This one shot back over to Hale. Sends over to Wallace. Gets the out there. Everybody just moves around. Base is still loaded, but one out. So we'll take a scene on a replay. Which was the smart play. You want to get that lead runner, and that kept the Bears from scoring again. Catcher, senior, Haley Farnsworth. Looking at one out. Everybody on. Jensen with the pitch. That one's in them for a strike. Bob helped start it off for the Bears with she had the bunt that they ended up throwing went all the way to the fence. So she was able to score on that. Check swing. They got her. 102 count. 
chance on a head. Now this one. Yeah, a bowl of soup from the grill sounds good right about now. Oh, <laughs> it does. It does, it does. Jensen, that one in there, low and inside. I probably shouldn't say this, but I went to another restaurant. Ooh. They had a cordon bleu soup, and I said, oh, I love that. So I ordered it, severely disappointed. Grill still has the best, the best cordon bleu soup, in my opinion. This one gets past the shortstop, bring one run in here for the Lady Bears, gonna bring two in, loses it at the plate. Two runs score here for the Lady Bears. Miller will be on third and Bob makes it all the way to second. So great hit by Bob. Shoots it right to the shortstop, gets under her glove. Again, another solid hit. And Bears run. And Calvin being pretty risky sends two. The throw to home is there. She just doesn't have a hold of it. Maybe the wall is filling. So Nelson scores, Zoe scores. Then we have. You got Miller on third. I gotta look at my paper. Yes, Miller on third. And Bob on second, but the speed up runner won't come in for her, it looks like. Oh, so Kinley didn't score. Let me change that. Zoe scored and Kate scored. Whoever was her speed up runner. Uh, Archibald. Archibald, yes. Kinley was thrown out at home yeah. on the force. So it looks like number 21, Lady Norman, a junior, will take over on second. Still with only one out. Runners on second and third. All right, Bears still in good shape. They're hitting the ball well. They're hitting hard, finding gaps. Call Maxfield now. Senior second baseman here for the Lady Bears. Yes, she's been hitting on the left field side all day. She's too looking for a gap. Sticks with it. Hale scoops it up. And a little hesitation. Now in a pickle. Norman will get out. Woo! Fire back over to first. Luckily she gets off her base and goes to get that. In the chaos, another run scores here for the Lady Bears. Miller takes off from the third. Back and home. So now with the ultimate runner on first, we'll bring Bella Douglas back up. Smacks this one over the shortstop, picked up, sent over to second for out number three. <laughs> she could have stepped on second right there and chose to make the throw. Either way, she's gone. Take a scene our replay look as the rain's starting to come in a little bit thicker now. So great offensive inning for the Bears, able to get four on the board. All right. We'll wipe the lenses off and be back for the bottom half of inning number five when we come back. The Pie Dumps Monthly Steakhouse Dinner is held every third Saturday of the month from 5 to 8 p.m. Call ahead to reserve your spot or get your order to go. Each month they feature delicious food with options for the whole family. Want to work for a great company? Then check out West Liberty Foods in Tremonton. 
They are currently hiring with open positions in the warehouse, machine operators, and general production. Pay is $15.85 entry level on first shift and $17.35 entry level on second shift. Higher rates are available for warehouse and machine operators. Apply today. Welcome back here to Ridgeline High School. Lady Bears with a 6-4 lead. Start us off. Taking a swing at it, number four, Ava Howe. She's a left fielder, sophomore here for the Riverhawks. So in the circle here for the Lady Bears, number nine, Kate Daly Sr. with another one and a swing and a miss on the frame base could you strike out here for Kate Daly. So Bears picking up where they left off from last inning. And I believe that's number nine on the strikeouts. That'll take Ridgeline back to the top of the lineup with number 31, Addie Hansen. and fouls this one out of play. Here's a bunt. Good bunt, six of the dirt, scooped up, sent over to first, and safe. Replay. That's great read by I think that's number twenty five, right? Is Aubrey Fry on playing third base now? Yeah. Good read, good throw. Just not soon enough. Brittany Anderson now. Up with the River Hawks. We're gonna go second. Gets down and safe. Good throw by Bob. Town was there. That was a close call. Originally, I know they're down by two, so they're going to be stealing their way around, trying to get into position. First pitch was a ball from Dally, so a 1 0 count. Anderson with a sacrifice bunt and a strikeout. Some foul away. Playing center field for Ridgeline. She'll be coming back next year as well. Well, one one pitch. Rather this high for a ball. So a two one, one out. Runner still on second. Good hit. Deep hit. Hits the fence. Runner's going to go around third. Go home. Stand up. Double RBI. For number 24. Center fielder, Brindley Anderson. Yeah, that was a great hit. Up and over. Nelson hits the fence. Bears, <laughs> Bears get it in quickly, but not before Anderson makes it to second. Hansen crosses the plate, so now Ridgeline only behind by one. Coming up should be number 15, Ellie Pond. 
struck out her first plate appearance and then put it out of the park, her second. So she's batting 500 today. Long watches the first fish go outside for a ball here from Dally. This one up high and out of play. So popped up short, not going to leave the dirt. Dally calls for it, and out number two. At the circle. Just not a strikeout this time by Dem. <laughs> An out nonetheless. Two outs, one on. Mark hit the Jensen now. Also hitting 500 today. She had a nice single her first at bat and then popped it up her second. Take a swing at this one, just a low. Strike one on her. Two outs. And Anderson still setting on second here for the River Hawks. So there's a little off speed, it goes out of the zone though for a ball. Now a 1-1. One, one. Follows it up with a strike. <laughs> he was trying to punch her out for a second. Or I don't know, maybe he's got a little thing that he does. I'm not really sure. Two strikes on the Yeah, because that's, that's the second time he's kind of moved his hand over across. Yeah, when they come together like that. This one gets back behind the catcher. Runner will advance to third. So now Brindley stands on third, looking to score here for Ridgeline. Yes. One more pass ball, she could get in. 2-2 two, two count at the plate. One more strike, could finish the inning. A lot could happen. There's a lead six to five. Now he puts one in there, this one just gonna miss. Full count, two outs. Friendly Anderson on third. Now he sets up another one in this one, swung on high and out of play, foul ball. Jensen will step back in, try again. Still a full count. Two outs. Here's the pitch from Dally. This one fouled away this time. Stays low. Kind of an off speed. A lot of movement right there. Marquesa did the right thing. Just kind of pull that. As you said, time run on third. Go ahead and run at the plate. Dally with another pitch and a Frank Mayskadu strikeout as they get Jensen swinging. And that's number 10 for her. That strands Anderson on third, but Ridgeline cuts into the lead. Lady Bears only lead by one. We'll take a scene on our replay the punch out. Another Frank Mayskadu strikeout. I'd like to thank them for being our strikeout sponsor. And with that, we'll go to the top of the sixth when we come back.
Road Funeral Home is there to serve your family in your time of need. We are farmers. Whether you're buying or selling, let the dedicated professionals at Caldwell Banker help you save time and money. Welcome back here to Ridgeline High School. Lady Bears back up to bat here in the top of the sixth. They have the lead six to five. Start off with number 20, Lucy Roach, a freshman. First time at bat here for her. Jetson's still in the circle, sends a high one for the first pitch. Bears just trying to shake things up. This one goes outside here by Jensen. Right. Sometimes you'll change the pitcher to shake things up. Sometimes put in some different offensive players. Roach with a good eye. Jensen's behind on the count. Three balls and no strikes. She'll take that strike here from Jensen. Hook still ahead. Lead off batter here in the top of the sixth. And that one will miss. The walk will start us off. Again, Lucy Roach will stand on first here for the Lady Bears. Aubrey Fry now, another freshman. She shows bunt. It's a good bunt. Jensen scoops up. Gets the out at first. But Fry can move Lucy over to second. Right, the sack bunt. Good play. Top of the lineup now here for the Lady Bears, Kinley Nelson, senior first or senior center fielder. First pitch misses from Jensen, a ball. One out, one on. Kinley one for three tonight. She's gonna shed the jacket now. <laughs> Probably a nice dugout jacket. Probably not that great to swing in. This one almost gets past Wallace. Yeah, nice snag. That's exactly what I was going to say. Another ball from Jensen. Nelson ahead, 2-0. Runs as high for a ball. And Lucy gets back to second. There's a 3 0 pitch from Marquesa in the zone for that strike. It's kind of the same thing as uh, Lucy's, same count. Jensen going to give her something close. And that is strike two. Push it to a full count. With one out. And Lucy Roach on second. Fouled away. One gone, one on. Still a full count here at the plate. 
Swing and a miss, and the strikeout for Jensen. So that's two for the Bears. They're looking for a two-out rally right here. Yeah, senior Zoe Sorensen, left fielder. Doesn't waste any time with that one. Pops this one up, and plenty of time underneath it is Anderson. Friendly bit out number three on a fly out. Strand and Roach on second. Let's see our replay. So Bears not able to score this inning. They have one more at bat left. But the Bears still in the lead, 6 5. Batter up for Ridgeline when we go back. Want to work for a great company? Then check out West Liberty Foods in Tree Mountain. They are currently hiring with open positions in the warehouse, machine operators, and general production. Pay is $15.85 entry level on first shift and $17.35 entry level on second shift. Higher rates are available for warehouse and machine operators. Apply today. Soup's on at the grill Monday through Saturday. With a new tasty soup every day, you can pick up lunch or dinner all week long. Find out which flavor is your favorite by picking up a small bowl for $3.99 or make it a large for $5.99. Kent's is your one-stop shop for fresh produce, bakery items, deli, and meat. Stop by today for fast, friendly service. Think of Greer's Hardware for all your spring cleaning needs. Whether your project is inside or outside, they have you covered. Welcome back here to Ridgeline High School. It's a one-run ball game, top of the, or bottom, excuse me, of the sixth. And to start us off, up to bat. Number 21, Kenzie Hale. Uh, she has a strikeout and then hit by pitch. She is a senior third baseman for Ridgeline. Takes the first strike from Dally. Swing and a miss. Dally goes up 0 2 on the count. As we like to thank the grill, they are also hiring. Plenty of places to work here through the summer. Right in town. This one gets passed. Bob is up and over her head. First ball here from Dally. Nobody on, so that doesn't hurt anything. Dally with the 1 2 check swing. Got it back. This is low for ball. Has a count up at 2. Again, a reminder to go download the KSL Sports app. Jazz in the playoffs. Pump up tie, not going to leave the dirt. McCall calls it. And McCall catches it. Just like it should happen. So one up, one down here for Ridgeline. As we take a CNR replay look. First baseman Abby Banning, a junior here for the River Rocks. Steps into the box. Dally sends the first one in there right down the middle for strike one. Dally with another one. This one's gonna miss. Abby with a walk and a strikeout today. She's waiting on the 1-1 one, one pitch, and this one goes high for ball. A 2-1 count. Banning ahead. Nobody on, one out. And I take Paul McGrew, also hiring here in the valley. Now the 
way back to the chain link, ties the count back up to two. No excuse not to have a job this summer. Exactly. Sorry, all you high schoolers or <laughs> college people. Can't tell your mom you can't find a job. Swing and a miss on a Frank Mace Cadoo. Strikeout, Kate Daly. Showing a little emotion there. Yes, pretty excited. That's number 11 for her today. And two gone. Two up, two out. Let's try to get that CR replay, the punch out. Right here by Daly. Now yeah. to the catcher, Annie Wallace, freshman. Pops this one high and out of play. She's over two at the plate. With two outs, here's the 0 1 pitch here from Dally. Rises high and a little, maybe a little outside. Tied at one. And it goes halfway. Sees it goes out of the zone. Mm. Good eye for Wallace. Said she did not swing. Let's do one count. for a strike. Gets the line again on the inside. Now he gets it to a 2-2. One strike away from ending this inning. Now we're going to miss. Now to a full count. Full count. Nobody on, two outs. up high out in the left field and oh. town will get out number three three up three down just what the Bears wanted so the Bears will go into the seventh inning with one point lead as you're seeing our replay look as that ball hangs in the air forever oh it does And that's the first inning Ridgeline hasn't scored. <laughs> They've scored one every inning but that one. Kayo will take us to the top of the seventh. See if the Lady Bears can get a little bit more cushion on this one run lead when we come back. Whether you're buying or selling, let the dedicated professionals at Caldwell Banker help you save time and money. For all your embroidery and screen printing needs, whether for business or just for fun, stop by Cover Up in Tremont or Brigham. At Cover Up, yeah, we can do that. We are farmers. The Pie Dump is a big supporter of your Bear River Bears and loves to see students come into their shop. They even have a menu just for them. So swing on in before school or during lunch and enjoy the deliciousness they have to offer. The Tremont plant has won the Industry Week Magazine's Best Plants Award in 2017, and then again in 2021 for operational excellence. The plant has also won awards for sustainability from the EPA and many internal quality trophies. How can we achieve this? Simple, it's our people. Welcome back here to Ridgeline High School. Top of the seventh. We'll start off with Kate Daly here for the Lady Bears. She'll, walk, she'll take the first pitch strike here from Marquesa Jensen. Still in the circle here for Ridgeline. A one run ball game. Jensen with another one and a changeup gets Daly swinging at that one. Right, that off speed. Two 
Two pitches, two strikes. Goes upstairs and gets a ball for that one. Shits it again with another one. This one rolls across home plate. Ties the count back up at two. Kate, just a junior for Bear River, so she'll be back next year. One chopped over to second and over to first for out number one. So hands up to Banning. The senior right fielder, Carly Miller, coming up to bat. She has a walk, a hit. And on and first. And two hits, yes. That one goes into the dugout, so she will get the advance to second. Yes, that's a great break for the Bears. If you're going to miss, don't let it go into the dugout. <laughs> don't let it go out of play. Just trying to get it off the hop. It goes into the dugout. So one out, Miller on second. Next up will be Haley Farnsworth, senior catcher. Jensen goes upstairs for the first one. That's a ball. She had her bunt, a ground out, and then a single. So two for three. Another one upstairs. Keep Miller standing there on second. Only one gone. Here's the 2 0 pitcher from Marquesa. Fouled away. There's a take. Tie the count up at two. One out, one on. Jansen. Puts this one in there and gets through. And this one popped up. up. That will send Miller in for a run. Scored. And Bob on second. Another strong hit, right in that 5-6 gap, which is a tough spot. Um, but anyway, a good enough hit that it rolled up the fielder's arms and just gave Carly enough time to get home. Another tough break here for the Riverhawks. The little Lady Bears extend the lead, 7-5. And we'll go with McCall Maxfield. will be the next one up here for the Lady Bears. Again, one out, one on. Bella Douglas in the Bella Douglas in the on deck. On deck. That's what it, that's what I was trying on to say. On deck circle. She's on the thing, you know. <laughs> McCall hits this one short foul ball called. Yes, yeah, a dead ball that came right off her leg. It looks like. Looks like on second now is Laney Norman, a junior, here for the Lady Bears. Taking over for Bob on second. Patillo with only one out, Jensen. Slings the pitch in there, this one hit on, hit deep, and it's gone! First home run here for the Lady Bears. It's a two-run shot here by McCall Maxfield. Something couldn't happen to a better player. She's kind of 
struggled. Getting hits as well, of late, but. Well, you know, it's just <laughs> that thing. It goes up and down, up and down. And she was due, and the timing was perfect. So that'll add two more to the Bear River score. We'll check it out on the CNR replay. No. Right, her other hits have been solid hits, but she's just missing that middle part of the ball, and she caught a hold of it that time. So, so a 9-5 lead here for the Lady Bears. That is your Soda Fix home run. Your home run sponsor. Another reason to go get a drink. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you might as well celebrate. Probably want to get a hot chocolate today, but it's up to you. Actually, they have a frozen hot chocolate there. That's pretty good. Ooh, frozen hot chocolate. Mm-hmm. There's the 01 and rolls across home plate again from Jensen. This is Bella Douglas in the box here for the Lady Bears. With one out, nobody on. She sends this one for a ride and back to back home runs as it hits right the, the scoreboard. scoreboard. So she had, she was, flew out, a strikeout, ground out, home run. Another Soda Fix home run, this time for Bella Douglas. And a scene on replay. She says, let's see the scoreboard, knock another run on there. So good day for her. We've had other freshmen hit home runs here too. <laughs> So I'm sure she'll remember this for a long time. Probably forever. 10-5. Be a lead here for the Lady Bears. One out. Nobody on. Looks like we'll go to number 10. Emma Harrell, another freshman. Okay. Harrell. Steps out of this one. It's a low and inside for a ball. Here from Marquesa. <laughs> one out, one ball, no strikes. Nobody on. Nobody on. Another pitch misses here from Jensen. One hit up short, playable. And Jensen gets the inside. And yeah. Right, fly. comes out of her circle to go get that one. You don't see that every time. The infield fly caught by Marquesa for out number two. So with two outs, nobody on. Aubrey Fry steps in. Watching the first pitch go by as a ball here from Jensen. So two out for the Bears. Still trying to go for that outside. Jensen misses again. So two balls, no strikes. Another one here to Fry, and another one will miss low and away. Jensen falls behind 3-0 here to Aubrey Fry. Goes upstairs and another walk. Fry will get on on first. And that puts the Bears at a great spot back to the top of the lineup with Kinley Nelson. And my paper is all wet. Yeah, hope you're dry from wherever you're watching. Yes. Good work, Bear River Live, being able to bring the game to everybody so they don't have to come out in this cold and wetness. Next up will be Kinley Nelson, like you said, back to the top. Two outs, Fry on first. First pitch in there for a strike here from Jensen.
Kinley one for four. Pops this one high, but out of play. It's not her typical day in the park. Jensen with the 0-2 pitch coming. Another foul. Aubrey Fry standing on first. Mm. Back over to Jensen. And out number three here to Benny. And first leaving one stranded here for the Lady Bears, but a big inning. It's a big cushion here for the Lady Bears. They lead 10-5. They do. Five runs is not enough. Defense got to be on their game. Well, last chance here for the Riverhawks when we come back. Want to work for a great company? Then check out West Liberty Foods in Tree Mountain. They are currently hiring with open positions in the warehouse, machine operators, and general production. Pay is $15.85 entry level on first shift and $17.35 entry level on second shift. Higher rates are available for warehouse and machine operators. Apply today. Rudd Funeral Home is there to serve your family in your time of need. From home theaters, to lights, to security systems, and more. Advanced Integrated Systems specializes in simple, easy to use systems that enhance people's lives. Control all of your devices and systems in one easy to use platform. Advanced Integrated Systems. Technology is the future. Control it. Whether it's drinks or treats, get your fix at Soda Fix. Let Academy Mortgage help you get into the home of your dreams. Give them a call today. Kent's is your one-stop shop for fresh produce, bakery items, deli, and meat. Stop by today for fast, friendly service. Think of Greer's Hardware for all your spring cleaning needs. Whether your project is inside or outside, they have you covered. Welcome back here to Ridgeline High School. Bottom of the seventh we go. Lady Bears in the lead, 10-5. And we will start off with double O Shelby Blinkenship Jr. Here for the River Hawks. She ground out to second base, her last plate appearance. And we're waiting for the um. Doing a little paperwork off to the side. His papers aren't wet. Yours are. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, again, we'd like to thank you by supporting us by watching. That makes a big deal. You can like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'll let you know when we go live. Also go in and support the sponsors. Oh yeah. Tell them you saw it on Bear River Live so they know. Maybe they'll give you a deal. You never know. You never know. Maybe Hoobie Roach there at Lincoln Financial will give you a deal. <laughs> it never hurts to ask. Start off with a swing and a miss. For strike, run again, Lincoln Ship. He is in the box. Dally still in the circle here for the Lady Bears. This one up, up and away, ball one. Our next broadcast will be baseball. They're 
over in Grand Canyon today. They'll be hosting them tomorrow for game two. We'll have that one for you. And then following that one, we'll have Lady Bears Lacrosse as they host the Grand Canyon Wolves. Mm. Another jam packed week of good stuff. And there's more to follow even after that. Dally with another one. Another one. Getting too high. <sighs> Losing her grip, it looks like. A 2 1 count. This one hit. Doubled up by the third baseman. Sent over to first. And yeah. There's out number one. Fry with a great pickup on there. Great throw. Her and Town did a good job squeezing that 5-6 gap right there. She got a good jump on it. Next up for the Riverhawks, going to be number 17. <laughs> Which I don't have on my roster. This is a swing and a miss, though. Strike one. Addie Hess, your batter up. Pulls the string on that one. Dally gets her to swing. And Hess is behind 0 oh, 2. Nobody on, one out. There's a lot of Abbies and Addies on this team. Yeah. They need a Bob as well. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say maybe <laughs> one of them's a Bob. We just don't know about it. Here's another one here from Dally. This one's going to miss the zone over a ball. As a coach, it is super helpful. There's a couple there, a couple years there where everybody named their kid the same thing. I'm one of many Amy's my year. Swing and a miss on a Frank Mason could do strikeout number 12. Number 12. Every Kate Daly gets out number two at the plate. This will put the Ridgeline Riverhawks back to the top of the lineup with number 31, Addie Hansen. A lot more look at the Frank Mason could do strikeout again. I'd like to thank them for being the Strikeout sponsors here for softball and baseball. Dally puts another one in there. This one chopped and effective with two outs. Ridgeline not going to go quiet. No, they've never been known for giving up. She'll be followed by number 24, Brinley Anderson, center fielder. She's been busy today. She just pokes it out just enough to get it beyond the glove of town. Anderson with a sack bunt. Strike out and then that beautiful hit right over Kinley's head for a double. So Bear's just looking to get one. There's two outs and a runner on first. This one will miss outside. So we know that they like to steal. Bears have to make sure we don't cheat. Otherwise, you miss the routine out. And Kaya will get the routine out at first. And the Lady Bears stay undefeated in region. Take over the first place spot, but these two teams will meet again the last game of the regular season. They will. And that's when I'm sure they'll both be at their peaks. Oh yeah. Getting ready to go to state. We will have that one for you as well. So a good showing by both teams today. Um, Ridgeline, always good hitters, great base runners. They put a couple out of the park today. Um, Bear River also great on defense today. 12 strikeouts against a, a good hitting team. I mean, you read their stats before. A lot of them were in the four and five hundreds. Um, and so Kate Daly had a great day on the mound as well. well. This is two good teams going at it. Didn't disappoint with a score of 10 to five. You give your soda fix player of the game to a pair. But you can't have one without the other. Kate Daly. And Bob behind the plate. Right, you can't have one without the other. 
Martinez going against the tough hitting Ridgeline team. They will get your Soda Fix players of the game, but you also have the Soda Fix home run sponsor. Bella Douglas and McCall Maxfield. McCall Maxfield. Get the other one. Yes, both timely. That kind of got the momentum shift, I think. Go on bear of a direction. So, of course, every point helps. <laughs> yes. But this is a game we look forward to every year. Again, good competition and, and two well-played teams. So your inter Intertape Polymer Group game wrap-up. Just that, just timely. Needed runs when we needed them and we got them. That's right. Softball. Sometimes it goes that way, sometimes it does not. <laughs> right. Well, there really wasn't too many errors on either team. There was a couple bad bounces Ridgeline had, but for the most part, both both teams played great. Bears, again, timely hits, good base running. Well done. Well, all the sponsors on your screen is the reason why you're dry, and I am not. <laughs> We'd like to thank the Pied Up, Caldwell Banker, Gerzudo, Best Hardware, Twisted Sugar, Advanced Integrated Systems, and Jared Summers of Farmers Insurance, Rudd Funer Homes, KSLSports.com, Soda Fix, and U.S. Title, formerly known as American Secure Title. Seeing so for your replays, Entertain Polymer Group, The Grill, Dr. Todd Miller, Academy Mortgage, Chanshare Sod Farms, Valley Headliner, BRV, BRVNews.com, Frank May Skidoo, for your strikeout sponsor. West Liberty Foods, Great Basin Industrial, Kent's Market, Lincoln Financial Cover Up, and last but not least, Tanglewood Studios. They're out there in Bothwell. Yes, they are. We've done we've done some classes out there with my children. So all that will get us halfway through region play for Bear River. They'll have a home game tomorrow against Farmington. Then on Friday, they will host the Mountain Crest Mustangs to start the second half of region for Ridgeline. Uh, the other, on the other hand, for them, the Mountain Crest game will be their halfway mark. And that will be played here on Thursday. A lot coming up. Our next broadcast for Bear River Spring Sports will be tomorrow. The Bears baseball team will host Green Canyon. That'll be game two of the series. That will be at 3.30, and following that will be Lady Bears Lacrosse. They look to be keep on rolling undefeated in their season. Well, you can keep an eye on our website for changes, but I hope it should stay the same. Okay, we'll or download the app. Or go download the KSL Sports app, watch it on there, or go like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and get notified when we go live. Again, thanks to Amy Gibbs for helping out. My pleasure. Your final in this one, Lady Bears 10, Ridgeline Riverhawks 5. Have a good evening, everybody. This has been a production of Bear River Live. <laughs>